Coach, if you just want to start with a brief statement and then we'll take questions. Well, it, it boils down to once again, like I told my guys in the locker room, a tale of two halves. Um, I thought um, we kind of emulated what we did at Bellarmine. I'm sorry, Drury in the conference tournament kind of you know, get off to a slow start and then we got to find our way back and, and get back right in the game. If you think about the Drury game uh, at the conference tournament, we got back within two points and then we just had, didn't have legs down the stretch to finish the game off. And we, we had to do a better job of finding a way to get ourselves going. We missed a couple shots early, uh, but to Bellman's credit, they also made some good plays in the first half. We made some adjustments at halftime uh, with, with some ball screens and things like that and found some energy. That's why we get back in the basketball game. But you have to tip your head off the belt. And the dial went out. They, they never panic. They kind of rallied around each other. You know? And that's what good teams do. And you know, I'm proud of my guys for the way they fought tonight. Uh, they, they, they never gave up. And they never do. But tonight we fell short. Very disappointing because I think we should be playing tomorrow night. But you got to give Bellman a lot of credit. They've been here before. Uh, they never panicked down the stretch tonight. And, and made some really good plays down the stretch to, to, to win the ball game. Questions? Yeah, what exactly did you do on the ball screen? What did you see? Well, the first half we we, we try to step out and make the make the ball have to veer out a little bit so we can what we call level off so we can't turn the corner. We didn't do a good job of that in the first half. Uh, second half we, we, we wanted to trap it uh, to start the half off and, and we were laying our traps. We didn't get there. Rotations were pretty bad. They got a couple layups, so then we just started switching everything. And I think that helped out a lot. You know, they switched a whole lot. I thought. They did a good job because they used to play against them, but we did a better job once we switched the ball screen to keep them out of pain. Coach, something interesting about this game. You guys, in the first game you played against Bellman this year, you allowed 33 free throws by then. And then in this game, they had 21. How bad did that hurt you guys? Well, it hurts. Uh, we always talk about uh, tonight, especially against Bellman, you can't put them on the foul line. They're a great shooting basketball team. You take a guy like Johnny Johnson, who shoots 62% from the free throw line. Uh, where does he go tonight? Um, six or six. He didn't miss him. Uh, so that just tells you how tough they are from the mental aspect and, and, and how they are. I think they're, they're committed to, to, to try to finish the ball game. And we, we had some bad fouls tonight. But down the stretch, you know, if you take away uh, the last two minutes, I thought we, you know, probably fouled him about at least eight or ten times down the stretch. So. Yeah. Uh, but he made a great percentage, shot 84% from the free throw line tonight, and that's just all about mental toughness and, and putting the ball going. James, 26 points, uh, a high for you here at UND in your last game. What kind of seemed to be working for you, really, from the start of the game? Uh, well, I mean, my teammates are just finding me in the right spot, right? Uh, I mean, I've we've been playing all year with them over the gym and stuff. They just know, you know, why I like to get the ball. Like, Tyree did a good job, Reeves, B Max. Uh, all those guys that just you know screamed for me and got me you know got me where I like to get the ball at. So um, I guess you can, I mean, it's pretty much a, a team effort uh, with the 26 points. What happened to you? Uh, I was late getting on a getting out on a ball screen and uh, got got caught with an elbow. It wasn't uh, the officials said it wasn't a, a malicious play. It was, it was a basketball play. So you live with that. You know, I know Bella was not that type of team. Their class and team. And it wasn't nothing there. He just floored a basketball game and happened. And got the stitched up real quick and got him back in. He still continued to play with us. A lot of credit goes to him for you know, That's not okay. using that as a. You guys are going to ask you. You ran back in here. I mean, you guys had to get that quick because you got back out. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, the did a good job. They, uh, I'm not even sure what they did. Glue <laughs> it. <laughs> 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 Blue did a good job with it. And, uh, throughout the game, they kept uh, making sure it stayed. Uh, Stay, the bleeding stayed down, so that was I mean, a good job on that part. You know, I just I just wanted to get back in and keep fighting with my guys, man. How about the uh, three-pointer that tight it hits the rim, bounces it off, off the glass? I wish I would have hit another one. <laughs> uh, I mean, it was the flow of the game. Was, it was, I was just open, had to take the shot, luckily it bounced in. Brennan, what changed in the second half? You guys are trailing 15, 16 points to come all the way back and tie the game up at 57 and have a chance? Uh, I think Tyree coming back, he's a big spark. He got those two quick fouls or maybe three in the first half. He came back, pulled us in the huddle after Coach got done talking to us, rallied us up, told us we got to go now, and fortunately we fell short. But my coach said, I'm, uh, I mean, it's good to come back, but I'm not happy with the result. I wish we were playing tomorrow, but 
proud of the way everybody played. Along those lines, you get the game tied and then don't score again for the next two minutes and 20 seconds. What was Bellerman then able to change that you weren't able to get the, take the lead? They were playing good defense all night. They were pecking in the paint. Uh, that's what James did a great job from the three-point line, but everyone else, I missed one. But besides James, we didn't really find our stroke from the three-point line. They were doing such a good job in the paint. It was really tough to score. I thought, I thought you know, just piggyback off, piggyback back off of this, I thought we settled late. You know, we went, when, when Dow went out, I think we were in double bonus, maybe we were close to it. Uh, we went down, there was a two or three minute stretch, we didn't shoot a free throw. And, you know, in situations like that, we, we have to get the ball inside and um, just do a better job being conscious of that. You know, we wanted to get it in, we just couldn't. You know, the ball was on one side of the court the whole time. Uh, the opposite wing never flashed like we tried to do. And uh, we just got the ball on one side and ended up shooting three points for us. Defensively, what were you able to do? Bellerman didn't make a field goal in the last five and a half minutes of the game. They only made free throws. What were you able to change to kind of keep them, you know, shut their offense down, at least from the field, besides? We, we did a lot of switching in late, you know, not just on the ball screen. We switched a lot late. We tried to be overly aggressive in the passing lane versus the first half. We kind of passed a little. We tried to pack it in the first half. Uh, second half, we did a lot of switching. I know at one point we talked about the end of the shot clock. Oh, when Dow fouled out, not letting Janali Johnson, I mean, not Janali Johnson, uh, Kirsten Jones get the ball because we know he's a great breakdown player. Uh, so those are some of the things we did. Uh, but, you know, to those guys' credit, they know how to drive the basketball. They're strong drivers who can get to the foul line, and that's what they did tonight. They just kept their dribble alive and, and drove into us and got into our bodies a little bit and made the free throws. Uh, Coach, a lot of Bellarmine's players in the game had a lot had a good game shooting the ball. <coughs> so they had ten points come from their bench, and and on your guys' side, you only had three players finishing double figures, and then not pretty much any other produ productivity of any of your other players offensively shooting the ball. How bad did that hurt you? Guys? That hurt a lot because you know one of our one of our keys to winning the ball game was was make Bellarmine go into their bench. You know? mm -hmm. We wanted to, you know, get Dow out like we did, but we also wanted to try to get some other guys who don't, don't normally play uh, into the ball game so we can try to attack. Unfortunately, they did a good job of, of yeah. coming in and not missing a beat. You know, and our bench tonight just didn't 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 get it done for us. Not just with scoring, but just a lot of miscues on defense we made. You know, we we can talk all that about scoring the basketball day to day. Defense wins championships in the tournament, and we didn't play it. We didn't do a good job with defense. So, got a lot of work to do for next year. I really look forward to this group of guys that are coming back and run center. Um, and we, we, we're going to do some things different, you know, in the off season and next year in preparation for a better year next year. Any other questions? Uh, James, is there anything you'd like to say taken away from your last year? I mean, your one year here at UND? Um, well, I definitely appreciate the coaching staff bringing me on. Um, the whole year has been, this was the most fun I've had playing basketball in a while. I mean, the whole, my players, the coaches, they just all, it's, the environment is a good environment to be in. So, I mean, I'm, like, we got the, I'm the only one leaving. I know the coach is going to do a good job of finding somebody to come fill, uh, fill that spot. So, I'm sure they're going to have a good run next year. But overall, it was just, I mean, Good environment to be in. I just appreciate the opportunity to be a coach, team, you and Thanks, everybody. Thank you.